Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to make almond milk. One flavor, but three different techniques. In the video, I'll talk about each version of almond milk, including its flavor, texture, and consistency. Let's start with the classic one. The first thing you will need to do is soak the almonds. So place the almonds in a bowl, cover them with water and let them soak for at least 8 hours. You can also do a quick soak in hot water for about an hour. Once the almonds are soaked, drain the soaking water, rinse the almonds and add them to a high speed blender together with fresh water. Using a high-speed blender such as the Vitamix is quite important because the blender breaks down the cell walls, making the nut milk incredibly smooth and creamy. Blend on high until all the almonds have broken down and the mixture is frothy. If you'd like to make almond milk that has a less intense almond flavor and brighter white color, you could use blanched almonds instead. Pour the milk into a nut milk bag set over a large bowl or I prefer a measuring cup with a spout. There won't be any brown specks when straining the almond milk made from blanched almonds, but there will still be a little bit of pulp. It sank to the bottom of the blender, which is why you can't see it here, but I did add it to the nut milk bag. Bring the top of the bag together and squeeze out as much liquid as possible. Transfer the almond milk into a glass jar and that's it for the first almond milk. Almond milk made from whole almonds has a slightly sweet flavor and is the smoothest and creamiest out of the three versions. The second almond milk is literally instant because there is no soaking or straining. All you need is water and almond butter. I prefer raw almond butter, but you could use roasted almond butter or nowadays you can also get almond butter made from blanched almonds, which yields beautifully white almond milk. As I already mentioned, you don't have to strain almond milk made from almond butter. It will be completely smooth right after blending, but I did strain it to make the almond milk white. My kids just wouldn't drink it with the little brown specks from the raw almond butter. Transfer the almond milk into a glass jar and that's it for the second almond milk. Almond milk made from almond butter has a nutty flavor and is lighter than almond milk made from whole almonds. The third version of almond milk is quite unusual. It's almond milk made from almond flour. All you need is just water and almond flour. Other than almond flour made from blanched almonds, you could also use almond meal made from whole almonds. Regardless of which one you use, it does need to have all the fat in it. Mm. 
blending almond flour doesn't take as long as blending whole almonds because the almonds are already somewhat broken down, but the milk still needs to be strained. Transfer the almond milk into a glass jar and that's it for the third almond milk. Almond milk made from almond flour is slightly sweet, just like almond milk made from whole almonds, but it's a little bit chalkier in texture and lighter in consistency. 